Hello everybody, today we're unboxing a package from Ivan Press, who makes insane horror comics for properties like Lucio Fulci's Zombie, The Gates of Hell, or House by the Cemetery. Well, House by the Cemetery is coming out soon. And Maniac, among others. And so, being a big fan of Maniac, I ordered the first one when it came out last year, and had been eagerly awaiting the release of the second issue of that series, which should be in here. So, Ivan Press also has an original series called Bottom Feeder, which they're pretty proud of, so I figured I'd check that out too. So that's what we're expecting in here. It uh, comes in a fairly sturdy mailer, so if you were ever kind of wondering, you know, what Ivan Press ships in, you know, they do a good job, plus it's also, like, really secure in here. They try to... I like how they pack stuff the way I pack stuff, just with, like, whatever's around. <laughs> so, everything. And, ooh. There we go. It can be a little hard to oh, have a little trouble finding the front on these. There we go, so Maniac 2 is finally out. Sorry about the lighting, we're experimenting with setups. So, uh, <laughs> as I just get distracted and start reading. So, well, what, what Ivan Press does with their releases is they put them out in what they call a VHS cover. So it's like a slit, it's sort of like a slip case that the comic goes into. And it's kind of nice if maybe a tad awkward to interact with. And one of the nice things about ordering from them is they offer like a bunch of different like little packages. So you can get them with a varying degree of extras. Like some releases have come with like vinyl records or CDs or whatever, and, like, the writers and artists, like, sign stuff, too, if you spring for that particular one. So, because I'm most excited about the Maniac issue, we're gonna try and crack that open here. So, the thing, one of the things I kind of don't like sometimes is when they, sometimes when they sign them, they sign, like, this outer, like, the shrink wrapping, so I don't always want to, like, tear off the shrink wrapping. Doesn't quite look like that's, like that's what they did for this particular issue, but uh, we'll see. So you can maybe notice it's a little, little tough to get it out of there. So there, the first issue was basically following like the story of the Joe Spinell maniac, and so the second issue is kind of their own continuation of the story where he goes up against the New York Ripper from, you know, the film of the same name. I have no idea what the hell's gonna happen, so it should be fun. So these are some of the extras you get with it. Uh, it's like a stick, you get like a sticker and kind of like a little art card. It almost looks like these, sometimes they do strange things like, uh, oh, sorry about my lighting again. Sometimes they do strange things like having these be like part of like a mural kind of like old trading cards but i don't know if that's really the case here so it's kind of fun like they come with like because they're called vhs comics like they come with like a signed vhs slip cover which i'm never really sure how to display but they're still cool excuse me then so they come with kind of a little insert which is almost like a little newsletter like talking about you know, it's like oh here's where we got some ideas you know this is how we put it together just kind of stuff like that and like little blurbs for some of the other titles so those are generally fun and then of course there's the comic itself which you know they signed here and i'm not going to show you guys everything because these are pretty intense like they're they're very, like, they're very, very gory, and, uh, bordering on a little bit gross, so I don't know how safe for YouTube a lot of these are, but it's gonna be great. And then, 
Moving on to the other stuff from our order. So this is a bit more of an unknown. So this is their first like original series that's not based on like a pre-existing property. It's called Bottom Feeder. From my best guess, it's something about some kind of water monster like chewing people up. That's uh, I don't know enough about, about this, so I mean I'm just gonna dive into it. <laughs> so let's see if we can crack this one open a little bit faster, which I somewhat doubt, but, um, oh, no, we got in there, we got in there pretty good, so I'm going to just kind of dump all the extras out with the rest of these so you can just sort of see what you get with each release, because they, these guys put like a lot of love into everything, which is kind of weird considering, you know, the stuff they produce. <laughs> Oh, a weird, weird fruit. You know what I mean. Yeah. Ah, man. So, again, the sleeve is cool. It just kind of makes it awkward when, like, opening the thing up and trying to get the comic out. But, uh, so, there. Well, I struggled with this, so. I have. I'm up to date on their zombie series, like, the, that's based off of the Lucio Falci zombie. And it's pretty good. It's like a continuation. It's a continuation of the movie, like written by them, and it goes some pretty insane places. But uh, I'll talk about that like in a future video. Okay, so we got bottom feeder out. There's oh wow, there's uh. I don't know if I can actually show that cover on on YouTube. Damn. Um. Damn. <laughs> Well, uh, bottom feeder one. <laughs> so that's kind of one of the nice things too is that they have. You can tell they have like a lot of ideas for cover art. So the cover art is usually like there's the sleeve art, there's the comic itself, and then sometimes on these, as I accidentally show it, they have foldouts with even more like ideas that they had for cover art. So, again, it's kind of the newsletter sort of thing. It's like, you know, here's how we did it, and where we got the idea. And there'll be, like, sketches or, like, the script. Uh, let's take a quick flip through. Oh, yeah, this looks like more creature goodness. So, and, of course, there's the little, like, trading card. And I think my idea about, oh, maybe they make a picture or something was kind of crazy, is uh, I've only ordered from them directly a couple times, so I kind of lucked out with the zombie issues that I have, because uh, <laughs> it's sort of funny, a friend of mine ended up with almost all of the zombie comics, and we did like a trade for some movies, so I've only ordered one issue of zombie directly from them. Uh, their stuff is relatively cheap, though I mean it's, it's pretty good value as I finally fixed my light. Eh. It's the holidays, guys. I'm uh, frantically cleaning up the crypt so that well, my family won't uh, won't have me committed when they get a look at it. <laughs> but, uh, man, why didn't I just do that before? But, uh, so, as I said earlier, they do different tiers for their releases. So this one, they were able to, I was able to get the one that includes like a soundtrack and some other extras for the second issue of Bottom Feeder. However, when I tried to get the same, whoop, when I tried to get the same kind of thing for Bottom Feeder 1, they were sold out, so we got a slightly better version of Bottom Feeder 2. and. Uh, one of the other items I'd ordered from them in the past was Zombie Issue 6, the soundtrack edition. And the soundtrack that came with that was really cool, like, I was pretty happy with it. So, whenever I order from them in the future, I'm gonna always go for those soundtrack editions. So, again, these are just tough to open. Though they seem to have... oh, yep, see what I mean? With how, like, the... Wrapper is, is the sign thing, so you don't want to tear it up too much. That's maybe the only 
genuine complaint I would have about Ivan Press. Because, I mean, I want to read them, you know? I don't want to keep them in the thing forever. Eh. Eh. <sighs> okay, so there's going to be a lot more stuff in here. So, hopefully this cover is not as... Or, well, depends on your perspective, I guess, but hopefully I can actually show the cover on this one. Yeah. So, that's pretty cool. And just ridiculously gory. Like, they, they take a lot of inspiration from the old, like, Italian movies that were just insanely nasty. And it really shows in all their work. Which, it can be a little much at times, but, you know, for the most part... I have, a, I have a good time. That's really what it's about, right? So, it comes with this. There's the soundtrack. Which, uh... Well, there's not a track listing on it. But, at any rate, that should be pretty sweet. Because, again, I, I really enjoyed the zombie soundtrack they released earlier. So, we've got another little card. Which, uh... I wonder if I can make, like, an album for those or something. It's like a sticker. I don't know who that guy is yet. So, and just various pieces of art, too, in addition to our standard newsletter. So, hopefully you guys can see this okay. So, feel free to complain if not. No, nope, yep, there's the signed insert there. It's going to be kind of tough remembering where all this st stuff goes. <laughs> Yeah, well, maybe it won't be so bad. And then we finally have... So, Bottom Theater is only three issues. Uh, so, I ended up picking up the entire series. It's a little sad, though, because they're having a Black Friday sale, I think, starting tonight. And I kind of wish I'd known that before I bought, like, 60-some dollars worth of comics <laughs> uh, a few weeks ago. But, you know, I'm, I'm happy anyway. So, let's see if our comic opening skills have improved. Probably not, because I suck at this. Yeah. Alright, come on. So, most of Adam Press's releases are like $10, $15, so they're, they're kind of high per book. But considering that you can only get them... You can only get their comics, like, directly ordered from their site, or, uh, if you know somebody who did that, and, you know, you do a trade like I did. <laughs> so, for what you get in each issue, plus the quality of the issues, you know, 10 is, 10, 15 is pretty fair, uh, and then the ones with the extras aren't usually that much more. Like, I think the soundtrack edition was, like, five more bucks. And so that was, I think, 15. So they're, they're generally pretty affordable. They do limit how many of each edition they make, though. Like, the soundtrack ones were, like, 300, and I think the Maniac VHS cover one was limited to 300. It says somewhere on here. Ah! Ah! Yep. Out of 300. So. They do have, like, insane packages called the Psycho Fan Packages. And the one for Maniac 2, for example, came with, like, a ton of stuff. There was, there was a vinyl pin. There were, like, a bunch of different signed cover arts. There were, like, little posters. There was, there was a lot of stuff. Like, I, I saw it was 100 bucks and was like, yeah, I can, I can check out Bottom Feeder for... A little bit less than that, so I didn't go for it, but uh, I think they still have those available if you're curious to go full tilt on Ibon Press releases, which, you know, they've been, I interact with them on social media sometimes, and they're pretty cool, so I'd recommend it. I would like to rant at the guy, though, for, you know, make it easier to get these out the first time. Urgh. 
Rawr! I'm like yelling at this thing. Whew. Stuff's flying at us. The releases are so packed. Okay, so it looks like we got like a bookmark, which is kind of nice, because sometimes they can be a little like text heavy, and like I actually need a bookmark. Usually not, though. Mostly it's just like horrible violence <laughs> on page after page. Okay, a somewhat more safe for work cover than the one I was nervous about showing. So just a quick flip through. So we faintly spoil ourselves. And then let's take a look at some of the stuff we got in here. So I think this was the poster edition, which uh, again is one of the many variants they do. So yep, this is one of the 300. Three poster edition, three mini posters for all six classic covers. Okay. Oh, explicit content, adults only. Neat! That's a little, uh, didn't notice that before. I don't think the Maniac one has that, does it? Oh, nope, it does. <laughs> so, let's see what we get here. Anyway, again, our little newsletter insert. Uh, oh, I think I, I think I have it figured out. So, I'm guessing these are, so it looks like these are post, the poster edition is like the covers for all three issues. Yep. Whoop. Another sticker, which I I like the stickers because like they're cool, but at the same time it's like what I'm gonna put them on that I'm never going to like get rid of, you know what I mean? So oh and I'm guessing uh, this is I'm guessing this contains the card for Bottom Theater 3. It has a little helpful little spoilers thing on it. So uh, we'll crack that open oh probably in a month when we finally finish reading all of this stuff. <laughs> because I mean you when you're collecting stuff, when you're collecting stuff, especially anything with like text that you have to read or like books, you know, it can just pile up if you if you don't have time to get to it right away. But I would really like to just run through Bottom Theater and the rest of these as quick as I can, because I, I read through the zombie comics that I got from my friend and that I ordered from them previously. Uh, but it can kind of. One of the nice things is they have like a long discussion with you kind of at the end of their comics. Let's see if I can find it here. Huh, I would grab one where that is absent. Uh, well, in, uh, in Zombie and Maniac, there were like four or five pages of like interviews and like discussion uh, about the work. And so it kind of took a it took a little bit of time to grind through that, but it looks like we don't necessarily have that problem with bottom beer, which is pretty nice. Although there's a lot, you know, there's a lot that they're talking about in the newsletters for sure. I still have like a pile of unread newsletters from the zombie collection, and also from the Gates of Hell collection too, because I just get so much content, you know, like you can't you can't quite keep up with it. <laughs> So, anyway, uh, hopefully you were entertained by my clumsy breakdown of Island Press and just some of the awesome stuff they put out. And, you know, maybe if we get to these sooner rather than later, we can do, like, a full-on review. Which, uh, I haven't seen that many... You know, as cool as Island Press is, like... They don't seem to have the attention that they deserve. So, like, I, I want to see more people talking about Ivan Press. So, but, uh, like, some of my friends who do comics, like, they know about them. Like, uh, Hart Fisher, who used to be pretty, uh, a pretty big name in comics in the 90s. Uh, like, he was like, oh yeah, they're great! 
you know, and uh, Tim Seeley and all of the other like horror comics people that I've talked to, you know, they know about Ivan Press. But uh, I, I would really like more people to be aware of them and support them, so, especially because Maniac is like an. This is my kind of selfish section here. So Maniac is like an annual release, and I want more of the story faster. <laughs> so maybe if they get more exposure. I have principles, I promise. <laughs> uh, yeah, that was it for this shipment. Uh, well, actually, just off camera, I have... I have my Gates of Hell issues, which are you know, ready to be picked through. So... It's based on what I believe, I think it's a, a English name is City of the Living Dead, which I haven't actually seen the movie yet, so that's kind of why we're reluctant to plow through the series. Which, uh, you know, some people might be really disappointed in me that I haven't seen that faulty work yet, but you know what, we're trying. That's just kind of a quick overview. And I, I think I did have the, so this is one of the one the ones that still have like the shrink wrap on are the ones I've bought myself. And it looks like this is the poster edition for the Gates of Hell comic, so let's take a look at that. See if it's got the bookmark. The newsletter, or at least I'm calling it a newsletter. Sorry, Steve Romano. And cause it's the poster edition. I guess here's one of my posters. But I'm such a sucker for signed stuff. And we've got more of like the cards and various inserts. So they're going to try and do an entire. So for those who don't know, Lucio Fulci, some of his works were kind of like the Gates of Hell sort of thing. So they include. I don't know all of them, and my and my knowledge of it is kind of spotty, but um, the Beyond is about like a site that's like a, that's over a gate to hell. The house above the cemetery is another one. Uh, the City of the Living Dead, I or Gates of Hell. Uh, you know, oh, you get the idea. So anyway, there are like something like seven. There are something like seven Gates of Hell in the Lucio Fulci verse. And so they're going to try and do a, a comic series for each one, and uh, the house behind the cemetery, as I get its name wrong, probably again, sorry guys, is coming out, I think in January, or at least going up to pre-order in January. So it's going to be like a whole thing. I'm really excited for whenever they get around to the Beyond, because I really like the Beyond. So probably even, maybe even more than Zombie. Like, I think that might be my favorite full C work. And uh, on top of that... So I just had all this, I've been reorganizing for the coming holiday apocalypse. And so these are all of the inserts from the other zombie and even press comics that we've got. So, see there's honestly a lot of reading. Oh yeah, that's another one they do. They did a, they have a story, they have a comic series for Laser Blast too. So, because they didn't have, when I first heard of them, they didn't have that many projects that were ongoing, but now they've they've really started taking off. So it's it's getting a bit hard to remember everything they do. Yeah, this is an ad for uh, so sometimes as an extra they do have like little vinyl records or I'm not sure if I don't think they're full size. Like I think they're just like seven inch like minis. But they're still really cool. Those are I think about 30 or so dollars, kind of, depending on which one. Oh, yep, and there's the thing explaining it, the Saga of the Seven Gates. It's going to be great. Whew. Well, everyone, uh, well, thanks for stopping by and bearing with me. So hopefully your holiday went well. Or if you needed a break you're from your family, you're watching this. In which case, uh, 
Hey. <laughs> Thanks for spending time with us. And I bought the 4K reissue from Blue Underground of the Lucio Falchi Zombie. And inside that, you get a 15% off discount co coupon for Yvonne Press, which uh, they gave me too. So, first come, first serve. Haha. <laughs> so, of course, you probably won't need that if you go to their Black Friday sale, which I think kicks off relatively soon tonight. So, hopefully, this uploads in time for it to actually matter. And for somebody to see this, but yeah, Edmundpress.com. Like, check them out. They're they're cool. So, well, thanks for watching. Like, share, and subscribe. And we'll be back with more technical ineptitude and random horror things next time.